Good morning. Let's call this advanced tower garden techniques because this is something that I've never tried before but a friend told me about and I'm kind of excited about it. It's direct seeding right into the tower. You take your rock wool, you soak it like normal, and then you pop it in the tower and you put seeds in it. And I'm trying lettuce right now and sure enough, look what's coming up, little baby lettuce seeds. Um, Y'all probably know the traditional way to seed a tower which is course to start your plants um, in flats and um, but this is sort of convenient if you're really time pressed and uh, you just want to get some lettuce in your tower because lettuce grows so fast and you can get a harvest so quickly I haven't tried it with any other kinds of plants but let me show you what else I've done this is kind of cool here we have a tomato plant and tomatoes probably take about uh, two and a half to three months to really mature and so what I've done is I've thrown some lettuce seeds on top of that tomato plant and um, I will go ahead and I'll just harvest them as microgreens when they get a little bit bigger so I'm getting two pots for one really kind of a neat little technique and we'll see how well it works um, here's some peppers my bell peppers are just going like gangbusters right now in the tower look how many I have I love them so, anyways, I have a, a hole right here ready for tomato, and right now in Florida, it's a good time to start your bigger tomatoes. I always suggest that you grow the small cherry tomatoes over the summer when it's really hot, but um, it's July and we can start growing the big tomatoes. They're not going to produce until September. Hmm, wait, it's July, August, September, yeah. So later in September, they'll probably start setting fruit. Um, so now is the time to start the seedlings. So I'm going to try the direct sowing method that Corey told me about and see what happens. What else can I show you on my tower? Um, this is my sol slow bolt, bolt romaine. And I've been really happy with this lettuce. It's really like the heat. Um, isn't that a beautiful color? And it's, uh, it's a sweet, it's not the traditional romaine that you're going to find in the grocery store. Or perhaps it is if you grow it in cooler weather. I don't know. Sometimes plants look a little different in the hot weather versus the cooler weather. But we are really, really enjoying this lettuce. And here is my wildflower, wild, wildfire mix lettuce um, from Johnny Seeds. It's really fantastic. I'm cutting it back short, um, not letting it grow too big in the summer and it stayed nice and sweet for us. I'll show you here is my lemon basil. Um, does that look beautiful? A plant's over a year old. What else is interesting that I can show you? You see all the peppers that are going to come out here? Isn't that incredible? These are my little, I think they're either they're Cuban or I can't remember exactly what they are, but they're little um, yellow peppers, but look at them. There's zillions of them that I'm going to be getting. Oh, here's something else that I did. I had a, um, a lettuce and it was time to cut it off. Um, I cut it off and then I just threw some more seeds in on top of it. And um, I'll harvest these again as microgreens. So I'm getting two crops off of one Rockwell. I mean, it, it's not like Rockwell's expensive. It's only 12 cents a cube, but I think it's more of a time thing for me. Instead of starting a whole new Rockwell cube, I can just throw some seeds in there and eat the microgreens. So you, I don't know if I'm going to want to let it get too big. I mean, it's, this is all an experiment for fun. Oh, here's my little bib lettuce right now. So adorable. Lots more green peppers that I've got. And I did figure out these are habanero peppers. I found out the hard way by eating one super super hot and they're not even ripe yet so I'm gonna have fun with this in bean soup and Mexican dishes so anyways that's it for now have a great day